Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some defensive plays for you guys today. I'm in practice mode uh, because I want to break down more in depth a defense that I put out a video about not too long ago. Uh, this was the video I made originally was in a gameplay, uh, but I wanted to break it down in practice mode because there's so many things you can do with this. It's really kind of hard to break down all the adjustments in a single gameplay. Uh, but at the end of this video, I will be using some gameplay to show you guys the actual results that you get in game rather than running it a bunch of times in practice mode so i'm in practice mode right now just to show you guys how to do the setups and then later in the video i will show you guys uh in gameplay what it actually does to opponents because it has a very common effect when it comes to opponents making the same mistakes towards it over and over and over that typically result in a lot of interceptions uh, and it's also a really good run defense so i'm going to show you guys both of those things how to set up the, the defense to stop the run and how to set up the defense to really stop the pass because to me it's one of the best defenses in the game right now if you guys watch my game play you know that i pretty much just used the big nickel over g most of the year cover two man that was pretty much my bread and butter i definitely like to mix in a lot of cover four quarters which i can't even see right now use a lot of cover six as well um that was pretty much my main scheme cover four pumps cover six trap and cover two man uh, I, I gotta be honest since i started using this defense i haven't even really been using that defense that much anymore because in my opinion i don't want to say this is that much better but it's definitely it gives me more turnovers let's just put it that way it's, it's a lot of people have adapted to cover two man they figured out ways to beat man coverage because everybody's running man where these are going to be strictly zone coverages so i already set up my audibles you can see right here but i'll show you which plays they are i keep a cover two man in my back pocket i'm always going to keep that i also like to use the cover one contained spy which i actually think i messed up i think i have a robber in there so let's go and let's put the the cover one contained spy in there and then the two main plays that i use the most are going to be the cover four drop once again which is probably the best run defense out of this formation and the best pass defense which is the cover three cloud so i'm definitely going to start off with the cover three cloud before i get into the video though if you guys could do me a little bit of a favor if you like these type of videos do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you like if you like me doing defensive videos if you like me doing chiefs videos or if you like me doing uh practice mode videos because to me it's a little bit easier to break down the adjustments and gameplay now, before I get into the video, though, I just want to let you guys know this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I currently have like a 93 in, on offense and a 94 on defense. I, mean, I don't know what's keep holding me back on offense. I mean, I'm real close to that 94 there. Check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off what's already like the cheapest coins on the market. So check that out. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the, the video here. All we really have to do, uh, first thing we're going to do every time is set up my, my run defense. If you watch my gameplays, the first thing I do is I pinch my defensive line. You can spread the linebackers, but I actually like to bring them out and down a little bit more anyway. So I typically manually do it. I like to have it just kind of like this. I also got to make sure I'm always going to put my, uh, my user here on a blitz. And I typically like, it depends on like what level my opponent's passing on, but I typically like to, to put this hard flat into a cloud flat. Just take away anything deep. Um, that's pretty much how I'm going to do. Because if it is something, if somebody's hitting me with a drag or something like that, I'm probably going to follow them across anyway. Although ultimately the last adjustment's going to take care of that a lot of times as well. Because ultimately I like to put one of these defensive ends into a either a bluff blitz, which puts them into a three wreck, basically taking away any middle stuff. Um, three wrecks also do a really good job of following drags and crosses and stuff like that so I really don't have to worry about that too much you also have the ability to put this uh, this defensive end into a hard flat underneath uh, the curl flat that'll basically create like a Mabel concept um, if you're doing this I would say you probably want to set your curl flats at like a, a little bit of a deeper depth if somebody's hitting you with a lot of crossers putting their, your curl flat at a deeper depth is probably the best idea but like I said I like to basically um, cloud the middle here so that I can control the outside because I find that crossers zones don't do a great job against crossers anyway and drags anyway so I'd rather have um, the, the middle flooded so that I can run around if they see something I can follow it across and I can basically if there's like a deep you know anything anything outside of the, the middle area I don't I want to be able to leave that with confidence that it's taken care of and a three wreck is the closest thing to having a second user on the defense 
so that's pretty much it as far as the setup here um, if it's something that like i said you could also use this uh in terms of like a you know if you hard flat them both that I mean obviously if it's like a third short or something like that hard flatting sometimes is a good idea but if you hard flat them both i also find that that helps out in run defense and in that scenario like on a, on a three defensive uh tight ends a three offensive tight end set like this i mean you can really set these guys up um, to have success but this is pretty much the look right here i mean i really don't have any more adjustments to make so switching over to some gameplay highlights i'm just going to show you guys how two completely different opponents make the exact same mistakes so these are gameplays that i just put out so i will put a link in the description below if you guys want to check out the full gameplays but basically they're going to do the exact same thing you're going to see the exact same mistakes here i basically flood the middle this play i didn't even get all the adjustments in but you're going to see there's nothing open deep they think that they might have something open short uh, and you can see right there we get an easy interception next play I do the full setup I put the defensive end here into the bluff blitz it leaves me a little bit more freedom to roam around as an inside linebacker which is basically what I'm going to do uh, but you're going to see the exact same thing you're going to see how there's nothing open the middle is flooded leaving nothing really available short as well uh, this linebacker for whatever reason they just don't see him a lot of times I have a safety in that spot who's just a much better ball defender and I get a lot of interceptions that way with that that middle flood concept uh, as far as the deep routes go you can see how aggressive this cover to safety is it almost looks like he's coming down to the flat uh, which a lot of people I mean if you see the depth disparity you can see right here the cover three safety being back that far it really looks like the defense is glitching out and a lot of opponents really try to take advantage of it by throwing it up top but you can see how well this safety gets back this is only an 89 overall Derwin James who makes this play uh, and you're going to see I mean this is something that you're going to see a lot when you run this game play as well people think that this safety is coming down because it does come down super hard on the same play here on the cover two side if you watch that safety once again that cover two safety is going to shoot down like he's in a curl flat a lot of times on this next play here he actually stays back a little bit better but you can see my opponent's trying to throw up and I probably should have had another interception there again next play it almost looks like he's trying to glitch it like a cover three I mean just look how deep that safety is in the middle compared to that safety on the left side this really baits a lot of people into thinking that there's opportunity to throw the ball uh, in this direction my opponent right here thought he had something and once again I probably could have had another easy interception now as far as the run defense goes uh, if you watch this linebacker right here on the left um, he just he just plays the run perfectly and I know it's because I don't have these linebackers too close to the line to the point where the blocking recognizes him but you can see right here he just stays outside fills that outside lane perfectly and that's what you're going to see a lot of in this game and the hard flat helps out a lot as well now switching over to like I said the second defense that I use the most is the cover four drop uh, this right here, all I really do on a defense like this, I typically like to pinch the entire defense. Like I said, this is more of a run defense anyway. To pinch the entire defense, you're going to hit the RB button or the R1 button, depending on whatever whatever system you're on, and that will just basically bring everything down. These guys outside here, they do a pretty good job of getting back in these, uh, in these defenses. I haven't had too many issues of these outside cornerbacks getting burnt. Um, when I when I pinch the entire defense with some defenses I think it probably be a little bit more suspect than normal uh, and then I make the same adjustments with my linebackers I pretty much just have them spaced out like this um, because they react really well they, if the, and like I said when I show it in gameplay they do a really good job of taking away inside and outside lanes they just they don't really get touched when they're this far back they just kind of sit back and do their thing it's it's you know it's one of the better uh, reactions you get from linebackers the last thing that I can do if I really want to kick this run defense up a notch is go under Underneath and put them in hard flats this will make sure if they're in hard flats no matter what before their play recognition kicks in they're going to be shooting down outside to take away outside run lanes that's really the whole point of hard flats and I feel like it doesn't do a ton when it comes to um, the actual defensive coverage I don't really feel like um, you know they like I'm talking about the four quarters now obviously the hard flats take away short passes they are a little bit more susceptible deep but they, they really don't take away too much from the cover four aspect of the of the play. The last thing I do, once again, I typically like to put these uh, defensive linemen. I'm hitting D-pad to the left twice, by the way, for people that are that are wondering how I'm picking, how I'm getting these icons to pop up. But if you hit D-pad to the left twice, brings up your icons for the linemen, then I basically just put one of them in a bluff blitz again. Uh, this year, like I said, against run defenses, I, and in this particular coverage, I don't necessarily do that as much. But it's something that you can do once again if you're thinking you're going to have to run around and take away, you know, lanes. I still want to have that three wreck there. Although in this scenario, um, you know, I'm leaving the, the hook curl. But like I said, it's it's still the best way to go. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be it for the run defense. Now, I wish I was in a shotgun. I'll go to a shotgun formation quick. One quick small tip when it comes to defending people in a shotgun with this. 
Um, you, when you make your uh, defensive adjustment, like I said, you can set up real quick, just like this. When your opponent's going to come out in something like this, there's only really one run play that's likely, and that's an inside zone. So in that scenario, you typically don't want to put the, the X into a bluff blitz. You typically don't want to have the defensive end um, in the direction of the most likely run to be dropping back. Uh, I typically want to do that with the with the A route. I typically want to do that with the... I want to leave that guy where he is so that he can do a better job of trying to take away that run. So basically, if it's a run play out of this, I don't want this guy dropping off into coverage. I want him to be, to be more stout against the run. So that's pretty much the only real tip. I'll show you real quick, let the offensive guy run it. Uh, but you can see, I mean, I want to make sure that he doesn't stand up. A lot of times, I'm not even sure if it 100% matters because when it comes to run plays... I mean, I really, I really think that the I could put them all in the in the in the three rex because I think that the linemen pretty much just jump out and grab the uh, the, the the defensive lineman anyway. But you can almost see that like when you when you I'll go to the replay real quick. When you go when you go look at them, it just seems like they're giving up space. Like like you see, they, they, he he does back up enough. You see how both of them just kind of back up enough that they're not coming forward, and it feels like the entire line gets a push. That it wouldn't get otherwise so it's definitely and then you can see him right here this defensive tackle he's the one guy i mean he still kind of gets pushed back but at the end of the day you can just see it's noticeable that they're giving up space the second the play starts so make sure that if you're going against shotgun you just want to it's a small adjustment but it's an important one just make sure that you you don't bluff blitz the guy that's that's in the way of a inside zone. It's really that simple. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more gameplay uh, slash breakdowns and practice mode like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, i shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.